Hi there guys, Dana Alexander here from Prestige Dog Grooming School and the Everyday Pet Groomer. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys today a uh, clean poodle face. Uh, we're gonna set a new top knot. This is kind of a, a Moyen size doodle that came in, or poodle, sorry, that came in from a breeder. And we're very, very matted. So we kind of saved his coat in a four, a little bit of faded legs. Um, but he's kind of had some COVID haircuts from home. So we're just gonna reset lines. Uh, I think we're gonna do a doodle face in the future for him. But for now, we're gonna do clean face, uh, top knot, and touch up these crazy ears. So I'm just gonna pass you over and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can get him to lay down with me. Uh, we're gonna lay down. There we go. And now his face is quite matted, really, really matted in here, and he's really gross around the face. And he lives on a farm with a doodle breeder, so we want to do um, what's going to be best for him right now. So I'm going to go with a 15 blade. And I'm going to start right by the eyes. And I'm coming everything from eyes forward, I'm doing against the grain towards myself. Okay? No, no. Now notice I'm holding the chin hair and all my three fingers are placed on the side of his muzzle. So I'm not trying to control his head with just my fingers. Plus with him laying down, I've got maximum control of him. Okay, so that I can do, I've never groomed this dog before, so he's new to me and he's been a little touchy for some other things. So we're gonna go nice and slow. Now from eye back, I go with the grain. So again, remember the edge of your clipper is not sharp or has the cutting edge. So you can set that right against the side of the eye and go for it. Now the lines are corner of the eye, right straight, follow through all the way into the ear. Okay, corner of the eye, follow through into that ear. I've already shaved out the inside of my ear in a 40. Stop. That was a trigger point for him. So we're just gonna reset him and start over. I'm watching that lip there. Now I'm doing from base of the ear and I'm starting a bit of a necklace on his neck. Up to you guys how low you want to go, but I like to go a couple fingers above his breastbone myself. It's kind of my preference. Be careful on these necks. If you feel a little bit of a catch, you got to come back out. And I'm just going to lightly blend that as I go. I'm going to come right by his lip. I'm going nice and gentle in first because this was a trigger point for him earlier. You know, new dog, we don't know. Now I want to get that little edge. And it's gonna come in again. Remember, I'm anchoring my fingers all around his face and I've got his chin hair, okay? Plus he's laying down, so I get maximum control, okay? Now I'm not gonna get the front of the face because I'm guessing that's gonna be a trigger as well, so we're gonna move on. What you do to one side, do to the other. Now notice my cold now. I've got my pinky just under his jaw and my other fingers are wrapping around his face and I've got his chin, okay? So I'm not just trying to control his whole head with my underside. Uh, the microphone's underneath, so just make sure it's open and clear from your hand. Okay, to anything eye forward towards myself. And I'm setting his hand, whole head on my hand. Again, my pinky's, my pinky's wrapped underneath, underneath his jaw. And my other fingers, I'm pulling his face against my hand. So I've got a really good anchorage here. And then again, I'm gonna come, remember that edge of your clipper, that thick edge is not sharp, so you can come right by the eye. Eye corner, follow through. I'm gonna to come to the base of my ear and start my necklace line, okay? And I like to come to that just above the breastbone, a couple fingers above the breastbone. And right now I'm avoiding everything to do with um, this front part because I'm thinking that's going to be a trigger for him. He stands up, I'm just putting light pressure and rocking him until he lays down again. Again, he's new to me. This is my first time grooming him, so we're just going with the flow. Seeing what he likes, what he doesn't like. Okay, so that's good. And he's relatively young looking, so, you know. And he's used to being owner groomed. So now we've got by the lips. I like to stretch that lip out and come in. And again, I'm going nice and I'm going a little bit more gentle than full strength, just because I know this area was a bit of a trigger on the other side for him. And we want to set a new tone of trust with him. Other side, I'm going to use my thumb. My fingers are wrapped around. Use my thumb to stretch that lip out. 
and then I'm gonna come this way. Now he does have a tooth that comes over his lips, so I would suggest to pull his lip over that, which in his case, he's got a really big snaggle tooth. So in that case, we just let him open, I'm letting him open his jaws a little bit just so I can avoid hitting that tooth. And that could be partly why he's triggered there because someone keeps hitting his tooth every time he's getting groomed, which he doesn't like. Coming back down. I'm gonna get everything, I'm gonna make sure my necklace is very well blended. I know. So he's fighting a little bit, I'm just going with the flow. Let me calm down again. Okay, I'm leaving the front for the very end, okay? I'm gonna leave the front on while I scissor his top knot and I'm gonna get it at the very end. Why cause a battle when we don't need one? Okay, so the top knot's uh, in an interesting shape right now. So we're gonna set this, open the ear. I like to comb everything down. I'm gonna come in with my straight shears and slightly angled out, not straight up and down, angled out. Do my first cut, make sure you know where the tips of your shears are. Once I've got my first cut, I'm gonna come a little bit closer, right that line, corner of the eye, all the way to the ear, and notice I'm angled out. If you angle straight up and down, you're gonna end up with a mohawk. And now when I get to the ear area, I angle in a little bit, okay? And follow through all the way to the long hair at the top. Okay? What you do to one side, repeat on the other side. So again, we're gonna set our shears, eye corner to ear, slightly angled out, not up. Make sure you know where those tips are. I'm following through up then to the taller hair. When I get to the back, slightly angled in. And following through all the way up, okay? I'm gonna do the line closer to the eye. So see how that's setting in our top knot from side to side? Now I'm gonna flip the ears over. And now we want to set in our top knot over the ears. True top knots are separated. So we're coming in, I'm just following my line all the way up. Separate ear, separate top knot. Same on this side, I'm gonna separate them. What you do to one side, do on the other side. So you can see we have a lot of hair here that needs to grow in. I'll show you guys how we're gonna tame that in for the time being afterwards. After I've got my sides set, I'm happy with all that. Now I'm gonna set the front comb everything forward. I'm gonna come in with my curved shears, right angled underneath, and I'm gonna do my first cut connecting to where I scissored on the side. And I'm coming all the way around, angled out. Remember, if you angle straight up and down, you're gonna end up sloping his head backwards. And we want a nice round front. Connecting that line, and remember following through all the way up. Want it a bit tighter in here following through, but remember I'm angled out, not straight up and down, okay? Stop, you're good, okay? Repeat, anything with scissoring, you gotta comb and repeat, and now I'm gonna just angle slightly more and follow through. I'm connecting to where I've already scissored on the sides, see that? I'm gonna come back around the other way and again, the tips of my shears are connecting to where I've already scissored on the sides. See that? That's the easiest way to set in the front of your top knot. So we've got our sides set, we've got our front set, we've got it nicely edged around the eyes. Now I'm gonna fluff it up and look at it from a side view. So from a side view, we got stuff going on. I like to come with my curved shears. My tips are lining up with where I've already scissored and just continue that line back into the back of the head. Remember to follow through all the way up. What you do to one side, someone posted about it this morning, repeat on the other side. Remember I'm lining up with where I've already scissored. Okay, and follow through all the way up. Okay, looking at it from a profile view, now I need to set my back. I'm gonna comb the back out, and I want it to go barely straight up and down. Line it up with my neck and straight up and down. This way I'm just, I'm almost setting my hand on his neck and I'm just rocking my shears back and forth. Staying really level. Slightly tipping in here just to round it off. But I'm, see I'm just rocking them back and forth. Okay. 
repeat on the other side. Just we'll look at it from this way. No, no, you're good. And this side will have far less because we rock back and forth from the other way. And I just need to dust in the little corner here. Okay. So now from the side view, we've got our back set in. Now it should scream out to you what needs to be scissored on the top. So in this case, we're just going to tip it off. Give me five minutes. I'm almost done. So I'm just coming back around and around, checking your front view too. See when I brush it up, then I can see what needs to be scissored. You just need to check from all angles. Probably not going to get the best cut, guys, because he hears his mom. All the way around. Okay. We're going to leave that for as good as it gets for now. And then we're going to come in with our 40 blade. And I'm just going to lightly dust off any areas that are blending. And I'm just going to start to taper in the ends. If you guys want to see my full poodle ear video, I did one earlier. So just check out my name in the search and you can find the poodle ear video. Or check out the Everyday Pet Groomer on YouTube. So I did a full poodle ear video on that. I'm just going to do this quick because we're out of time. I'm just tapering it all in which will be ready for me to scissor, okay? I want to finish the front of this muzzle for you guys. Coming back with my 15. I'm holding him very light. I'm letting him just put his weight on my hand. And I'm going to come in really quick. Down, down. And then I'm only going to squeeze his muzzle at just the last moment. So I'm really light. And just at the last moment, I squeeze. Just watch my hand. It just squeezes at the last second. Done, squeeze, done, squeeze. Squeeze, done, squeeze, done. So it just, he gets squeeze and release, squeeze and release, squeeze and release. That way, and I'm just coming in with my fingers and wiping out all the hairs that are in his mouth. And again, I'm only gonna squeeze just the last second. Backwards off the top of the nose. I'm just gonna double check under his chin, it's all good. And that is our poodle top knot it up if you need to. You guys know what it's like in the salon when mama shows up. So we got our beautiful poodle face, beautiful top knot set in, and we are going to have to grow these ears out, but at least this tames it in until we can grow his full ear out and make those gorgeous as well. Okay, but if you guys want to watch my full ear tutorial, uh, just go on to YouTube and look up the poodle ears. I'm Dan Alexander with Prestige Dog Grooming School and the Everyday Pet Groomer. I hope those tips helped you guys out and we'll talk soon.